Hey everybody, it's Tuesday night, and guess what tomorrow is? It's Wednesday. Welcome to the Wednesday Buzz with RV Rebel Girl and Diva Danny. She, she's sleeping over there. So, what's going on? What did we do today? Well, I'll tell you how I started my day. Watch this. Okay, it's 8 a.m. and we were gonna go work out today, everybody. We was gonna get up and go work out, walk at 6.30. But 8 a.m. is better than not at all. And we're getting up. I don't know who's making it, but I am. I'm getting ready to go. See you outside. Danny, are you coming and working out with us? Are you going to work out with us? You ready? You ready? You ready to go work out? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Yo, I don't know where Ross is. He couldn't be that far ahead of me. But maybe he is. We'll see because he has to pass me. Either coming back he can't be that far ahead of me. But Danny and I are walking. She's in the stroller. And of course, I'm the one pushing her. Good morning, YouTubers. Good morning, YouTubers. We're doing our walk. We're going to walk. It's a five mile one way, five mile back. But we're not going to do all ten miles the first day. We're just gonna try to get going here and get in the swing of things. And I got Danny in her stroller and she's loving it. And the sun is shining. Look at this. Look at the sun, whoops. I'm trying to see if I can get the sun for you. It's there over my shoulder, coming up over the water. It's a gorgeous day here in Southwest Florida. And we're going for a walk. And with a view on the water, watch this. I'm gonna turn the camera around on the water. I don't know if you could see that sparkle right on that water. I don't know if it looks the same to you as it does to me. But it's gorgeous. There it is, right there. Right, right, right there, see it? Cool, huh? Okay. Got to get going here. See you in a bit. So that's how my day started. And it's been a great day because then I went to lunch with my brother and his lady. And then they came back and saw my camp. And they got to meet Full Tiny House, Dana, and the, the kids, a couple of the kids before they left. And um, now the bugs are biting really bad. And I'm putting my video together for you. Whoops. I'm putting my video together for you. So I just want to say thank you also to one of my viewers. One of my viewers was kind enough, and I can't mention his name, who he is, to gift me a gimbal. I haven't figured out how to use it yet, but... As soon as I do, I will be using my new gimbal. Yes. So thank you very much to my good friend. Sorry, I have a little shadow going on here um, because I'm low on power and I have very, you no know, lighting, I can keep in the lighting a little low, so I'm not using a, little, a lot of electricity tonight. But um, thank you to my, I don't know where that shadow's coming from, but thank you to my viewer, and my friend for the wonderful gift. And you know who you are. Thank you Mwah. My to my new friend. Very greatly appreciated. Not necessary, but greatly appreciated for the new gimbal. And hopefully I'll learn how to use it really soon. It's charging. So let's go onward to one of the new videos, or one of the videos I wanted to show you. Now I've showed um, this YouTuber before. And since I'm camping and 
we all love Dutch oven cooking. Now, when this is this person is kind of a, a no is a nomad, but also is a great Dutch oven chef. And um, it's not the usual Dutch oven chefs that I show, but it it is one of the people that my friends who cook in Dutch ovens have learned from. And this is Mr. Bill Gowdy. Yes, and I want to show you Bill's video, a little piece of Bill's video, because I want you to go to his channel and watch it. I'm only going to show you a little bit. Please go to his channel, Bill Gowdy, G-O-U-D-Y, and watch him cook up in the cold, cold weather, in the snow outside. He's going to cook up some sweet and sour meatballs. Some of the meatballs are beef and some of them are pork and they look absolutely delicious. And instead of putting them on a bed of rice, he's going to put them on a bed of color, well, excuse me, cauliflower rice. And of course, on top of his paper plate as usual. But yes, he uses his Dutch oven outside on firewood it looks like this time so yes I do have a rod another pole in my window that keeps my window from opening too far so Danny doesn't fall out she likes to lean up against the screen so let's watch Bill just a little teaser of Bill and making his Bill Gowdy sweet and sour and get that little glare and Lucy Lou I don't know, I don't know if you can see her or not are Bill, checking in making his sweet and sour meatballs. I have a special request. Meatballs. Brian yeah, Rodowski. Meatballs in the Dutch oven. Asked months ago. Right there. And, I, 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 and I've had so much screen. stuff going on. I haven't had a time check it out and check to put out this channel. all together. Bill Gowdy But here. he wants ask, ask for some meatball, a meatball recipe. Well, I did a meatball recipe a couple years back back when Bulldog Bill was alive. And they were really good. But I got another recipe. It's an old family recipe. It, it actually is. And um, it, it calls for rice, and I'm not gonna use rice. No, I'm gonna use uh, rice cauliflower in place of it. Check it out. I'm gonna be using the, yeah, the bull seasoning and the good seasoning on the pork and the bowl seasoning on the beef. My hands are clean and I'm the only one going to be eating them so yeah now's the time to get your fingers in here. If I was making this for other people yeah I'd be wearing rubber gloves. Now I'm just gonna let that cook in there for about, oh, probably 20, 30 minutes. It'll thicken up a little bit. That'll work. I don't know which is pork and which is beef. You can't tell. Mmm. Oh. Wow. There's a chunk of pineapple. Mmm. I'm thinking I like that cauliflower better than rice. Oh, where's the Dan Van? The Dan Van, Vicky Van Dill, Frugal RV, C Dubs. They're all Gorgeous. down in southern Arizona, Yuma area, hiking. There's a cross there. I think we're going to have to go see it. Pilot Knob.
check out yep. the Dan Van. Vicky felt the need. Dun, da, da, da. Check out his latest video. Yep, Vicky had to go to that one. That's what she do. She gets to the high little points. They do some great hikes and go to some great places. Check them out, the Dan Van. Is it a great view? All right. And right over there is the center of the world. Did a video on that earlier this year. I think it was like in February of 2019. Well, guess what else? Somebody had a special day. Somebody oh, had a birthday. Who had a birthday? Let's see who had a birthday. That's the historic district down there. Well, we've made it to a new camp. It's a new year. I have a new hairdo. <laughs> And it's also Moo's birthday. She is finally Happy five birthday, years Mumu. old. Happy birthday, Moo. Five years old. Happy birthday, Moo. We're here at a little inlet uh -huh. in Great Arizona. Day. Hey, Aja. And we are camping by the Colorado River. How nice. It's a beautiful spot. And a nice, clear, sunny day. Warm, well, too. Aja's are back you excited about your birthday Arizona, today, Moo? And moo has got a birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> You can years lay old. on the sand and sunbathe. That's her favorite thing to do is play in the sand. So I'm glad we're here because there's definitely plenty of sand. Look at your favorite stuff. Get, get, go, get. <laughs> well, that's all I got for you tonight. Got the generator on already. Getting ready to put on my PJs and call it a night. It's kind of cold out here tonight. The nights have been getting down to 40, 45 here in Florida, but the days have been beautiful. So, good night, everybody. Thanks for joining me on the buzz and safe travels. Mwah. See you next time on the buzz.